watching the best show in HP. <laughs> Hi Harris, I'm Colton. And I'm Charlie. And this is your 28th episode. Let's go straight into Ask a Heron. Oh, what's your favorite dessert? Cookies and cream ice cream. I could say the same, maybe like chocolate ice cream or something. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Pumpkin pie. Jeez, uh, probably a Greek dessert. It's uh, called Lukomades and there. Oh. In Middle Eastern, it's called Orami. Ooh, okay. It's basically the same thing. Very good stuff. Okay, Very good. Okay, stuff. okay, good choice. Okay, what's your favorite dessert? My favorite dessert is from Safeway, and it's like the pies. Probably chocolate chip um, ice cream. Okay, okay, okay. Brownies. It's probably ice cream. My favorite dessert is cake. Pie. Cake. Okay, what's your favorite dessert? Anything. <laughs> right? Okay. Any, anything. Okay. I, I like okay. I like dessert. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite dessert? Brownies. Chocolate glizzies. Probably ice cream because it's cold. Okay, okay, okay. What's your favorite dessert? Well, what I like to do is create my own. Oh, okay. So, usually the foundation is ice cream. Rocky Road. Yeah. Okay. Right? And then I go through my cupboards and I look for anything else that I have. Um, Skittles I throw on there, marshmallows, some chocolate chips, whatever it is. I, I ground up some some graham crackers, all right, all right, all right. right? And then I just I just eat it all. Okay, 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 yeah, valid, valid. All right, thank you. Chocolate mousse. Okay, okay, okay. Happy Valley is great. Yeah, it is a great place. I'm talking about the British drama show. What? Joke of the day, roll clip. Hey, Mr. Oliver. Oh, hi, Cammie. How's it going? It's going pretty good. I thought of a joke, and I thought you would like to hear it. All right, I always like a good joke. Why were the teacher's eyes crossed? Why were the teacher's eyes crossed? I don't know. Because it couldn't control his pupils. Ah. Well, I can control you. Get back to class! Why are you drinking so much water? Because it's hot outside. Do you even know the weather? No comment. Here's your seven day forecast. Okay. Oh, oh it's looking real sunny outside, Gigi. I thought it was going to be cold this week. I wonder what the rest of the week's weather forecast is going to look like. My name is Liam, and this is your quote of the week. This week's quote is from Albert Einstein. Knowledge is limited. And that was your quote of the week. Have a great day, Aaron's. So, when did you want to be a teacher? When did I want to be a teacher? Um, when I discovered that I couldn't be a Broadway star. Oh. So, yeah, I wanted yeah. to like sing on Broadway and act. And then I went, oh, maybe that's not for me. Maybe, yeah. I know, I'll be a teacher. So did you want to specifically just like be a cooking teacher or like maybe sign? Like, Oh, yeah, no, no. I never dreamed of being a cooking teacher. Mm -hmm. I was a language arts teacher. I love literature. I love writing and poetry and all of that. So that's mm -hmm. what I studied in college as I studied 
English literature and journalism. Mm -hmm. I thought, no, if I teach, I'll teach language arts. And mm -hmm. then I got a job as a social studies teacher. Oh. And I taught that for two years, and I loved it. I just fell in love with it. And when I got a little tired and I wanted to change, this job came up, and I always had a, an interest and love for it. So I studied, took the test, got certified, and voila, been That's here really for nine cool. years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so definitely you did not imagine yourself as a te teacher at all. Um, I mean, I did because my examples growing up were, um, you were either a mom or you were a teacher or you were a secretary. Yeah. And that was pretty much, those were the career choices I had. Mm -hmm. And my dream job was a Broadway star. No one ever encouraged me in that. Mm -hmm. They said, oh honey, that's nice. Yeah. What do you really want to be when you grow up? And I said, oh a teacher and everyone said oh that would be great but that's okay because now my classroom is like a stage it's okay mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> how long have you been teaching in this district this is my 15th year in the district that's awesome so yeah well I didn't become a teacher till I was 38 years old I was actually a middle school secretary and while I was there they encouraged me to finish my degree and um, I still wasn't thinking of teaching. I wanted to be an academic advisor. So I did that for many years. Then I decided I wanted to travel and teaching was a good way to travel. So I did my master's degree in applied linguistics, teaching English as uh, another language in Brazil. And there's when I fell in love with teaching kids. And I've been teaching ever since. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to find a good random fact? This guy doesn't. What? He's your random fact of the episode. Oh, hey, Richard. The orange looks really good. Well, I'm pretty sure oranges aren't natural. What do you mean they aren't natural? Let's find out. Hi, Herons. My name is Roman, and this is your random fact of the episode. Did you know that oranges are a hybrid of a mandarin and a pomelo, a large citrus fruit? It, is, it was made around 4,500 years ago in China or another part of Southeast Asia. Pretty crazy, right? It's strange to think that oranges aren't natural. That was pretty random. Not just random, that was a random fact of the episode. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just need something fast-paced to cheer me up. Like a talent show? Um, sure. Here's Heron's Got Talent. Hey, Herons. I'm Anna, and I'm back at it with Heron's Got Talent. Our first talent is Cole. Cole, what was your talent? Uh, I played piano. What song? It was a sonata by Haydn. <laughs> that's, that's great. Miss Jamie here. With these awesome student unions getting started, like the Black Student Union and the Asian Pacific Islander Student Union, have you ever had to think about how you fit into these groups? As a multiracial, mixed, or biracial, multi ethnic person, does choosing one student union not feel like enough to honor all parts of you? As multiracial students, we don't expect you to choose, but rather embrace all of who you are and be proud of being a multiracial person. Please join me and your classmates for some groups next week to share our experiences of being multiracial and to connect with each other in a space where you don't have to question 
whether or not you're enough of a certain ethnicity to fit in. Please sign up during lunch for our multiracial focus groups that will be held next Thursday, April 21st, and you can find me if you have any questions. Thanks, Herons. Well, we're almost out of time for today's episode. I'm Charlie. I'm Colton. Have a great, a great day, day Herons. <laughs> <laughs>